<laughs> All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're going to give you the update on the Gervonta Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia fight. Word on the street is that the negotiations have hit a standstill because of a t uh, contract term that the uh, zone wants changed. Mighty strange, seeing as that everybody had agreed all the ter to all the terms way back in December. But let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we are going to be in the lightweight division where Gervonta Tank Davis is trying to get a fight made with Ryan Garcia. Uh, I don't think he's defending his title, but just a big money fight that everybody wants. But like I've been telling you, waiting for the other shoe to drop from Oscar De La Hoya and zone, And it seems like it may be dropping. Before I get into the details of it though, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. Also, if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter, thank you so much for your continued support. It really, really does mean a lot to the channel. Thank you for your support and the super chats, the cash apps, and the super thanks. Um, but let's get into this, man. All right. So according to I originally heard it from from um, uh, Michael Benson, who reported that uh, Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia is reportedly now in jeopardy due to a rematch clause dispute. Uh, Gervonta will have the right to rematch if if Ryan wins. Uh, Golden Boy and DAZN and PBC and Showtime are arguing over who would be the lead promoter network for that rematch. So uh, there is a hurdle that has been hit. Now, watch this. This ain't any real. This shouldn't even be a dispute. What's the dispute? Jermonte Davis's network is the one that should be airing the fight. But uh, and why is that? It's because Jermonte Davis is the one that is the draw that does the pay-per-view numbers, does all of those things to try to get Jermonte Davis to agree to go fight. If he were to lose against Ryan Garcia to go have to go fight on Showtime is absolutely. I mean, it's just why would you I mean, to fight on the zone? Why would you do that? The zone does not have a pay-per-view mechanism. The zone does not have a it really have a way to market the fight and grow the fight like the like like Showtime does. But more importantly, I, I told you so. This fight is it's so hard for me to believe that the zone and Showtime, the zone and Oscar De La Hoya are going to actually try to make this fight. And I don't think it has anything to do with a rematch clause. I'd have I think it has everything to do with the fact that they don't that Ryan Garcia more than likely is not going to win that fight. Now, it is nice to know at least that they don't have a mutual rematch clause <laughs> where Ryan Garcia can rematch. It's where it's a two fight deal. Anyway, it goes. But. To say that they want the rematch to be aired on the zone, man, you guys are not building this fight, man. They're like, they're not the one building the fight. They're not the one that, the ones that are really uh, generating the sales or doing any of that type of stuff. Showtime is and, and, and Gervonta Davis is. But to try to find an offhanded way to get Gervonta, if he wins, to go fight on to fight on the zone. Man, come on, man. That just doesn't seem doesn't seem like it makes sense to me. But in more importantly, man, it's something that doesn't make sense. It, it, it that I don't even really think is going to be the hold up. I just think that those guys aren't going to want to make that fight. Oscar De La Hoya, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for Oscar De La Hoya to come up with some type of issue, some type of problem that he has with that contract. And this, I think, is just is just the issue that they have. If for some reason Gervonta Davis and Showtime actually agree to that, which I don't think that they will or nor do I think that they should. They would probably find another reason not to make the fight so that they can have, you know, have this appearance that they went through the negotiation. And, you know, it was unre it was Gervonta Davis being unreasonable that made the fight. 
Now, do I have any proof of that? Clearly not. That's just my feeling. But like I said, and I've been doing videos about this the entire time, I was just waiting for something to come up from them that is an issue. Even though, if you recall, everybody associated with the fight said that they had agreed to pretty much every that they had agreed to everything. They had worked out the issues that they they'd worked out the issues that they had. And according to Oscar De La Hoya, only thing that they were waiting on waiting for was a signature. So now, you know, uh, maybe about a week ago, Oscar De La Hoya jumped out there and said that he hadn't even received the contract. So, you know, on, I think that was on uh, that was on the day, two days before Martin Luther King's holiday on a Saturday. He just, he insisted to have it by Monday or he was going to move on. And predictably now there's another issue about the rematch clause and 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 the zone having the right to air the rematch uh, for the for Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia fight. I don't buy it. I just think these guys don't want to make that fight. Um, they and the reason uh, they have there's further evidence of that was is that anybody that a Golden Boy has tried to to anybody that the PBC has tried to fight with Golden Boy, they found a way to shut the fight down. But yet they will turn around and then turn around and try to uh, come up with a reason why it was the PBC that didn't do it. The biggest example of that to me is this stuff with Jamal, Jamal Charlo and Jaime Munguia. Jamal Charlo, you know, had offered the Showtime had offered a, a deal to Jaime Munguia. Um, and Oscar De La Hoya said no to the deal. Then he turns around like just like a few weeks later and claims that he sent an offer to them and acts like and literally is the one starts acting like he and Golden Boy are the ones that want to make the fight. You have not had any legitimate challengers for Ryan Garcia. You've not had any legitimate uh, any real legitimate fights out of Jaime Munguia. And to date, you haven't had re any real uh, competitive fights for uh, for Virgil Ortiz either. And then even when you look at the Virgil Ortiz situation, who should have a fight this competitive coming up against a man Stanionis, he literally leaves the WBO rankings where he could have got a shot at a major title, the WBC rankings where he could have got a shot or excuse me, the, yeah, the IBF rankings and the WBO rankings. He leaves specifically the WBO rankings he leaves uh, so that he can get a shot at a secondary belt, the WBA regular against a man is uh, a man is Onis, when he was in position to be the next mandatory for Terrence Crawford and uh, for that fight. And then just not coincidentally, now Oscar De La Hoya is trying to get, or at least he's saying that he's trying to get Terrence Crawford to sign with Golden Boy, so that he can give him Alexis Rocha, then he can give him Ale then he can give him uh, Virgil Ortiz, and then after that we'll get an Errol Spence fight. Man, I'm, I'm not buying anything coming out of out of Oscar De La Hoya's uh, dome piece about that mouthpiece about that. Just don't believe him. Don't think these guys are serious. And it's also a very big risk for Ryan Garcia who has not been the most active fighter in the world and over the last couple of years, having taken time off in between fights and, and now in his last fight, pass up a, an opportunity to have a fight uh, around the same time that Gervonta Davis was going to have a fight and set that fight out and now just wants to go straight into a fight with uh, Gervonta Davis. I would not be surprised if Oscar De La Hoya was like, no, even in the back of his head and saying, even if he actually wanted Ryan Garcia to fight Gervonta Davis, which has never been apparent that he's wanted, he might even see, he still might say, look, man, this guy at least needs to take a tune up, least need to get in there with a southpaw, you know, in the fight before he fights Gervonta Davis. Let me get another paycheck off this fight before we uh, throw uh, Ryan Garcia to the wolves. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.